In this video, we're going to figure out how we can create these nice double labels here. And when we hover over the labels, it will highlight it with a different color. So let's start to explore how to do this. To do this, the first thing what we need is to get the border template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. All the links are in the description box. So what we're going to do now is put a double label here. The first thing what I want to do, of course, then is to make this horizontal. So I'm going to say index axis, and that will be equal to the Y, comma, save, refresh. There we are. Next, what I want to do here is have additional space here because we'll be having a label on the left side and on the right side. So we need some space. We're going to say here on the Y, or not even a Y scale. We'll make this an X scale because we're going to work on the X scale. And in the X scale, we say comma, and we're going to give it a grace and give me here maybe two or three points. In this case, there will be one single tick. So what I want to do is all these labels here put in there, and then the value of 18 will be shown here. So to do that, I'm going to say a comma, I'm going to say plugins. Let's create our custom plugin here. And we can say here our double label or double labels. So I'm going to copy that, say constant equals this. Then the ID will be equal to the double labels. And I say here, um, after data sets draw, because we want to draw it after the data set has been drawn. I'm going to say chart arcs and plugin options, and I'll be using the plugin options later on. So I say constant here. Then we're going to say here the CTX and the data, and this is a object destructuring. If you don't understand that, check out my video on the setting chart. Yes, object destructuring, very useful. So once we have this, I want to say here CTX and save. Basically, what we're doing here is this is for the canvas related drawing. We're going to save the default mode and after from here on we can start to do anything we want. So what I'm going to do here is I just want to loop through every data point here and see what's the value and of course the text. So what I'm going to use here is chart get data set meta index zero. We only have one index here data or one data set here. So index zero is it. Now I'm going to say here data and then we say here dot for each. And then for each here, we're going to say for every data point, I want to get the index as well. Function our expression because it's a callback functionality. From here on, we can start to move and then get this value here. So what do we have in here? Well, basically we get here the X and Y coordinates. If I do this X, you can see here, we're getting all the coordinates of every data point. And the same is for the Y. So once we know this, we can start to do a few drawing items. The first thing what I want to do here then is we're going to say here um, CTX dot font equals I'm going to say here 12. Oh, let's make this bold. 12 pixels. And I would say here the font family is the sans serif. So once we have that, we're going to give it a color CTX dot uh, fill style. And the fill style will be, let's say here, gray. And once we did that, we're going to put in, uh, I guess here we can just start to draw the text. And after that, we're going to work with the alignment. So we're going to say CTX dot fill text. And then we're going to put in here the labels. And specifically, all of these that I have here for the labels, Monday to Sunday. So what I'm going to say here. Um, we have here the data object of data, and that is basically this from data. We can go to labels directly. So we're going to see data dot labels. Now say here the index, whatever the index is, that is the first value we need. This is basically the text value. If you have here text, it's a string. So you make sure you have it in quotations. Then what we're going to say here, I want the X and Y value and that is data point dot X. And then here, data point dot y. Once we have this, I think we will have here our first value. There we are. That looks absolutely phenomenal. Of course, I don't want it here. I want it inside. So what I'm going to do now is alignment. So ctx dot text 
align and the text align will be on the right side so basically uh, whatever is the end of the right push it all to the left it's basically the opposite direction as you can see here there we are then this is still too close for comfort for me I would like to push it well you can see here push it five or six pixels more to the left side so what I'm going to do here x minus six to push it more to the left there we are then what I want to do is I want to have a y over on the other side we're going to do the same thing except now we want to have some different settings let's say 15 we can keep all of this and this one here could be um black or let's make it red anything you want so now of course we're going to say your left side and then we can say here this will be the value for the value almost similar logic except we're going to say here, data sets index zero dot data Let's save that, refresh, there we are, we're getting the value, I want to push it more to the right side in this case. We had here negative, let's convert it into a positive to push that 6 pixels away from the bar. Now we have this, I would like to put a dollar sign in here, so what I can do here is backtick. Backtick, so I have template literals, then say dollar sign, and make this our variable. And then of course I want to have a dollar in here, that is a string value basically. Just put it like that this or maybe with a space between say refresh if you want that or if you want it attached remove the space it will understand that this dollar sign here is a string value while this is a variable so let's just tap it literal there we are i think this is more than enough so now we have this what i would like to do is when i hover over an item i would like to highlight this in a different color and of course this here we have this all hard coded in here i would like to give the user the control so let's start to work with the plugin setting so i'm going to copy this id because this id is basically the plugin so when you go here comma you have your plugins you're going to build here a new path for the double labels and then in here what i could do here is we can say here inner data label or inner bar label and then put another one here, outer bar label. And once we do this, we have here a few options. So what I want to do here is I want to have color control. So we say color, comma, I'll just leave it for this now, hoover color if we're hoovering on a specific bar. Then what I would like to have here more is maybe the uh, font weight, comma, and then we can say here the font size. I'm going to do here the same maybe for the hoover color for the inner is not necessary but you can choose it it's up to you i'll do the same here i will leave it as it is that's fine here so the color for this was gray so let's make this gray this is a string value oh that is a standard color the hoover color could be maybe black if you would like to have a color and uh font weight will be 12 and a font size that should be 12, sorry, and this should be bold or none, or normal, italic, anything you want. I'm just going to copy this, put it all in here. So we have this, I'll make this slightly larger. And then this one here on Hoover, it will be green. And then here color will be red. So now we have all of these items, I want to transfer this here. So what I'm going to do here is create a constant. And then I'll ignore this, all right constant and then once I did the constant here I'm going to grab all of these items so what I'm going to say here uh, this would be the inner bar color and that will be the plugins that will be the path dot inner bar label dot color and if we did not specify anything else it will be a default color of black that would be more than enough. Then I can copy this and I'll just do the same here. Inner bar uh, font size, font size will be the font size. I'll just make this 12 and this is a number. What we have more font size, font weight. And the font weight. And I'll just do this here normal. Or you can just leave it blank, it will be considered normal as well. 
um, maybe here the inner bar color hover color that's the one we still need hover color and that will be the hover color with a C I'll make this um, black as well maybe like the, say this one is gray that is black all right so now we have all of those copy this I'll do the same logic but now for the outer bar outer 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 and again outer here I'll just leave this as, as it is because this is the default values and here this will overwrite whatever the default value is so we have that one so then of course here we need to make sure that this is all working correctly so we're going to say here the inner bar color will be uh, this one here or the inner bar label color then we have another one is the hoover color I guess we have none here but we can make that one and then we're going to say text alignment this is all fine we're going to say here the outer bar color let's put this first in here will be that bold I guess this here needs to be changed to a back tick and here as well back tick dollar sign and then we're going to say here this will be the font weight for the outer bar then we have here the font size dollar sign uh, where are you there we are this and all right that is more than enough same logic for this and then we're going to put that in here back tick put a back tick here inner and then again inner here so once we have this refresh all right you can see here they are gray well, let's see if I change that here it should be outer color hoover color outer bar font weight all right font size what of the outer bar label color what is the outer bar label color outer bar label color should be red Just interestingly enough here it is now red so what is going on outer bar color will be based on the outer bar here my bad make sure you correct these all there we are save refresh there we are so now they're slightly bigger everything is correct so what I would like to now is of course change the hoover color in here so what I'm going to do here is say if and then we can just say here uh, let I'm going to do a let value and I'm going to say in the let value here is text color inner I'll just give it like that and that will be by default whatever we assigned on our inner bar color label here but what we want to do here if data point dot active equals true in that case the color we will reassign a color because this is basically tracking if we are hoovering on an item if so if that is true the inner color will be based on the hoover color same logic we will do for outer so I'm going to say here for the outer outer and then we have here the outer color will be equal to outer bar hoover so then the outer bar text color that we have here in the field style will be now this one here and here we have here the inner text color will be for the inner bar color save refresh all right so if I hover you can see it's starting to change immediately and it becomes now green instead of red absolutely phenomenal so what happened if I just cancel out all of these we don't have anything here save refresh oh all right interesting we're getting an error uh, probably one of them we're forgetting color color do we have anything here it will be the inner bar color all right interesting I'll be having I need to check that one here I thought this would not be things maybe I need to put a question mark here so let's see um, let's see if this would solve our issue because probably this one if we have it hidden it doesn't see it sees it and then it cannot read this item here so let's do again let's see if that is solving the solution save that refresh there we are so what you can see here now it just gets the default instead 
beautiful and then everything normal let's make sure that the this one here the outer bar is bold so that when we hover or you can see here it's ready bold there we are and now that works nicely if i unhide this there we are this works absolutely wonderful and that's it